Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel 11 tutorial uh, in which we are going to create the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB. Laravel we are going to use as a front end and MongoDB we are going to use as a back end for managing the database of our e-commerce website. So in this video we are going to install Laravel 11 but first of all we uh, will see that how we can install the Zap and, and Composer. After that, we are going to install Laravel 11 and we will also install and set up MongoDB in our Mac operating system. Also, I'm going to tell you that how you can install MongoDB in Windows. Okay, so uh, if you are a new user and if you don't know anything about MongoDB, then there is small series of eight videos uh, for the beginners that will tell everything about the MongoDB. Uh, those person can watch this series this playlist see all this content you will find in video description as well so that you can easily copy this one okay so just copy this playlist and paste it here and you will find uh, there are some videos and i uh, really appreciate that if you will watch these eight videos because that will make your base uh, so by which you can easily able to start working on this laravel 11 tutorial in which we are using the mongodb as the backend okay so see in these eight videos we have learned that what is mongodb actually overview of mongodb how to install mongodb on windows from scratch and how to install mongodb on mac of uh, mac and and after that uh, we will uh, we will add the database in mongodb and we'll connect with the laravel uh, after that we are going to uh, do the crud functionality okay create read update delete functionalities with the mongodb uh, in our laravel application we will make the small application uh, for adding editing the post okay so that thing we are going to do so that you will get full awareness that how you can use the mongodb with laravel okay so uh, like right from the first video i will just show you like right from the first video you are going to see that uh, you able to know everything about the MongoDB like uh, what is MongoDB MongoDB is the NoSQL database see we are not going to manage the database in like rela relational database we don't we will not have the tables instead of tables we are going to manage in JSON data okay so overview of MongoDB what is the difference between SQL and NoSQL database okay so everything you are going to learn practically uh, by watching this one and you able to install the mongodb as well okay so you can watch this one and see uh, first of all we are going to install laravel 11 okay so uh, and uh, for installing the laravel 11 we need to make sure that we need to install zap as well as the composer okay so for installing the zap uh, we will simply install the zap or vamp server or you can install any other apache server for the windows user See, I'm going to tell you uh, for even for the Mac users, uh, open this website for installing the Zap. Okay, you can open this website ApacheFriends.org. Okay, uh, and click on download. And here you can see uh, the uh, you can download the latest uh, latest uh, Zap version for Windows because uh, Laravel 11 requires minimum PHP 8.2 version. So you must go for the latest version download the latest version for zamp uh, okay and if you are using the linux then download the latest version uh, uh, from here okay that supports uh, at least php 8.2 and if you are the mac of the system user then go for the again the latest version that supports the php 8.2 so zamp i have already installed and if you want to know that how to install the zamp then uh, see in the reference videos i have given in the here like reference links to install laravel 11 from scratch for for windows user uh, they can simply assess this one for mac users they can simply assess this one okay so in mac uh, we are going to install the laravel 11 okay and uh, for windows uh, they can watch this video and for mac they can watch this video so uh, so so that you can able to install laravel 11 in your operating system okay so uh, let's and come back and after that we are going to install the mongodb but first of all we are going to install laravel 11 okay so see after downloading the after downloading the zap you must install the composer for windows user 
uh, as well as for the uh, Mac user see uh, we are going to uh, search install composer and you can open this website get composer.org and this one is for the window user uh, window user can able to install uh, uh, we'll take this step here uh, see download uh, that uh, uh, exe file is uh, not given here because it's the Mac but for the Windows user they can easily install that uh, that steps are given here as well see install composer uh, see follow uh, that uh, video uh, in which uh, we have installed Laravel 11 okay I'm going to show you install Laravel 11 you just search for the install Laravel 11 and go down and here uh, you can find this is the video uh, just open this video install laravel 11 on windows 11 see you can install this one this one is for every version of windows okay for all the operating system okay simply open this video install laravel 11 okay it's uh, stack the stack developers videos only so no need to worry so take all this step by this you can able to install via composer see in this i have explained it clearly that first you will install the zap or web after that you will install the composer after that we will install laravel 11 so all the steps are given here so, so so that you can easily install laravel 11 for your windows operating system okay so i am going to install uh, for my mac operating system and also the steps are given for the mac for the mac user as well okay so uh, let's install let's start uh, i am going to uh, create zap uh, and see uh, i'm going to open here search here install laravel 11 on mac and once again you will see uh, this videos comes at the tops and this is is for installing the mac this is also the stack developers video okay so you can easily install the mac all these steps are given here to install the mac okay so uh just these step following this step you must install the brew and after installing the brew you must install the composer and after installing the composer you can able to install the laravel 11 okay so watch this video for the full detail okay so after that you are ready to install laravel 11 in your macro system so i'm going to create uh the uh, going to install the laravel 11 in this one new terminal folder and here i am going to paste this command see uh, here uh, we will give here the project name like i am going to give here the name project 11 okay uh, like earlier it's the project 10 for laravel 10 now project 11 for laravel 11 and one more thing you can do here you can give here uh, like in course 11 uh, dot star like this see we are giving this because i will make sure that like even for next year if we will move to the next year when laravel, laravel 12 get launched then even then we able to install laravel 11 only okay so that's why i have added it because maybe our project will not work on laravel uh, laravel 12 uh, so who knows okay so that's why we will only install the always install the laravel 11 okay for running our our project see maybe our project will run in laravel 12 as well and that time you will just do laravel 12 like this okay so no need, need, need to worry or otherwise you will remove this one it will install the latest version okay so because i will make sure that it will install just laravel 11 i all the time so just add this at the end so project 11 is the project name and rest rest query is uh, you need to type all the time the same one that is the syntax for installing the laravel 11 via composer and after that this is the project name and after that the 11 the version that we want to install you can specific uh, you can give specific version as well like 11.1 11.2 11 dot star means the latest version of 11 okay so it is installing and it has installed see so fast it is so we able to install the laravel 11 now and after that let's move to the next step okay so we able to install the laravel 11 for our mac operating system and if you are windows then you will also install the laravel 11 for windows i hope that you are able to install and after that let's come to the mongodb so we want to install now mongodb on windows uh, on mac okay we have the mac but for the windows user they will take these steps uh, first they will 
install mongodb community server see for this one as well we have the reference videos if you will watch that then it will be really great see reference links to install mongodb for windows this one for mac this one so please watch this video to install mongodb on your windows laptop okay and you will find this complete details in video description so no need to worry check in video description copy the link and open this here okay open here and you will find the complete details to install uh, Mac uh, sorry install uh, this MongoDB on your Windows uh, Windows operating system okay so you can see here the complete details again once again is given here you can able to install the MongoDB on your Windows operating system okay so uh, let's give you the brief details of installing uh, so first of all uh, like I have shown you that you need to install the mongodb community server okay uh, and uh, see let's so sorry so this one step to install mongodb on windows install mongodb community server so this is the link just copy and paste this link I am going to close this one and just paste this one and see and from here you will install uh, the mongodb community server let's open this one and okay so here after this you uh, must click on select package and and install see it is showing mac operating system because it will automatically pick that which platform i'm using but you need uh, if you will open this one in windows then windows will come up here you just require to click on download to download it and install it in your operating system and make sure uh, to select mongo compass like uh, when you will try to install uh, uh, then it will ask you that you want to install mongodb compass you just need to check that okay to install it as well so after installing this you need to install mongodb php driver extension as well okay for that i have clearly explained uh, in that video that i have shared you okay uh, so in that video it is clearly explained that how you can install the uh, PHP extension for MongoDB okay so see you need to download as per your operating operating system or as per your Windows op operating system okay don't not download uh, it like this uh, there is specific steps like you will go in your XAMPP folder uh, then you will go in the PHP folder uh, then you will see that which uh, file it is like you will go in the php folder here is something else but there in php you will in inside the php folder you will find lot of dll files and uh, you are going to see uh, nts and ts file and you will see that if there is the nts file then you will install the nts version if it, it is ts file then you are going to install the ts version and you must know that uh, your windows is 64 bit or 32 bit if it is 64 bit then go for this one if it is 32 bit then go for six one uh, then go for this one 86 one okay so uh, all these steps are given there so after installing the after adding the mongodb uh, then see uh, you are just required to add this extension in your php.ini dll uh, php.ini file uh, and restart the server then mongodb gets installed okay so steps in mac are different uh, and very easy just you need to uh, run this code see if these are the pre-installation first you are required to install the x code after inst installing the x code you need to install the homebrew the same things we do for installing the laravel and after that you can simply install the mongodb you, you, you can start installing the mongodb community server first of all uh, you just require to run this command uh, this brew command in your terminal to install the mongodb and after that brew update then brew install mongodb community 7.0 this this command and after that you are going to install uh, the like uh, php extension like uh, we have installed in the windows as well mongodb php driver extension here you will install just in the terminal okay you will just give this command it will install the extension as well in your php.inr file and make sure that it must have this extension or this uh, extension or uh, one of the extension must exist in php.inr file if in case it does not exist then you can manually add this one in your exam okay so after taking all these steps then you can able to see that uh, you just require to open the local host okay i'm going to run my exam i have already installed all this uh, in my series see i have followed this one 
uh, that I have created. Uh, I'm going to show you once again. Okay, uh, just simply you can search for MongoDB Laravel tutorial. Okay, uh, see, I'm going to show you MongoDB Laravel tutorial here and go in videos. And here you can move down and you can see Longo Laravel MongoDB uh, uh, tutorial. Just follow this one, you can follow like this also. Okay, and right from the first video, uh, see, complete details are given to install the MongoDB on Windows as well as the Mac op operating system. I am telling this because uh, you will not miss any step, okay, by uh, following this one, okay. So let's come back and see. I am going to uh, see, mail, uh, make sure that I must run uh, both Apache as well as the MySQL database, okay. So after running these both, I am going to open the localhost and will check my version as well. Uh, that uh, I must have the PHP 8.2 uh, yeah I have already installed the Laravel 11 so it must support, support the PHP 8.2 also I'm going to open the MongoDB compass uh, that I have earlier, earlier, earlier downloaded okay so in, in the MongoDB Laravel tutorial beginner series uh, that I have shown you earlier okay so uh, yeah this one is the MongoDB compass let's open it yeah it's opening here you can see the mongodb compass as well okay so we can click on connect so that it will get connected okay so this is the mongodb compass in which we are going to manage the database of our laravel 11 project okay so let's come back to here and here see mongodb compass is opening laravel 11 is now opening after installing both thing and uh, uh yeah so these are the things that uh, we will make sure uh, that in mac as well as in windows we must get ready with these two things uh see it is saying a new version of compass is available to install okay let's install the new version new version also okay it will update to new version shortly see it will ask you to restart after the update it will ask you to restart uh, now it will automatically get open once again so this is the new version installed now now we can click on connect once again to make sure that we connect to the mongodb compass okay yes we are able to connect so uh, uh, now we will work on this new version of mongodb compass and see uh, we must get ready with these two things okay i'm going to uh, run that ht docs project 11 i'm going to run once we'll see that if it's running fine running correctly php addition serve to run our laravel 11 yes it's now running let's see if it is running properly and you can see here the laravel 11 is a start laravel 11.0.7 version we have installed okay so uh, and this one is working fine and also I have shown you that uh, MongoDB also uh, MongoDB compass is also installed and that is also working fine and there are few of the steps few of the videos that you need to follow to install Laravel 11 as well as the MongoDB so first thing is to make sure to install both these things at your end whether you have the Mac operating system or Windows op operating system okay uh, you need to make sure that both you able to install after that we will move to the uh, next video in which we are going to create the database and going to connect it with our laravel 11 website okay so that thing we are going to do in our next video so please stay tuned for that uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye